Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is uh, Let's Play E4 Nepal Edition where we keep experiencing minor growth. Last video we attacked Joomla, or the nation formerly known as Joomla, and also brought in their ally Assam where we took these two provinces and a bunch of gold from them. Then we got dragged into a war with Delhi by Sirhan where we got one whole province of Saran. The main thing was Delhi lost a lot of land to, well they lost Delhi for one. They lost like, what, how many provinces did they lose? I guess these three I think is what they lost. So that is going to make it a lot easier to attack them in the future, especially since they don't have that alliance. Where's Multan? Multan? Maybe Multan lost some land, I don't know, they lost one of their alliances, I don't remember. But when our truce is up in 12, 14 years, it was basically a full 15 year truce, we will uh, probably go kick their teeth in and it'll be lots of fun. The one problem though is that it cost us all of our men and we are running out of money because we still have no real access to trade, which sucks. I hate being so poor. It really is simply awful. Build a spy network in Kachar. I just, uh, it, it's so hard to get, because Bengal is too powerful. or just too strong. Maybe if we can start getting some of uh, the Delian land. Well, yeah, I want to attack Dati. Actually, I forgot about that. Because one of the plans is we can attack Dati. They're allied with Rattanpur, who have a bunch of cores. Um, I don't really want to lose ducats. Who then we can maybe... Who is Malwa allied to? Yeah, they have Bengal and Bahamanas. Those are kind of some, some beefy boy allies. Dude, you guys like each other. Please stop that. Will Vigianagar help me yet? Or are they still just being useless? Let's make some more claims. I think that's enough claims on Chagtai for now. Dude, how did Bahamanis like recover so well? Oh wow, we've run out. Yeah, we need to make some more uh, claims on Bengal before we even think about going to war. So one thing we could do is we can try and do something what we were going to do last time, where we bring Sirhin into a war with us, and that means they can't join Bengal's side because you can't. The way the game mechanics work is that you can't. Uh, they won't switch sides. They won't leave the war that we called them into. Like they won't be able to accept the call of to arms from Bengal because they're in a war already against us or with us on the uh, same side. I think we will do trade efficiency. Typically, a lot of times trade efficiency guys can pay for themselves, not for us, because well, we don't have access to trade really because most of your good trade nodes are have access to the sea. Bengal is a pretty good trade node, um, simply because you can easily funnel in a lot of the Malakian and just Southeast Asian trade. But we unfortunately have Lhasa as, as our home node, which is, specializes in being garbage. We could potentially switch our trade node over to Bengal, but I'm going to wait until we can at least actually get something from doing that. I think we will increase our admin power. That does mean we can build workshops now, but we just were so poor. We're so incredibly poor. We just keep getting all these rebels and we have some we can territory Assam. We can make this a state at least. That'll give us a little bit of extra money. Because we haven't oh yeah, we need to uh Remember, there's going to be a rebellion here soon, isn't there? Um, since we just made it a core provinces, I don't really want to, uh, what you call it, increase autonomy. So we'll go chill over here, wait out these rebellions, then we'll attack Dati. I mean, it's just, it's so expensive. We got a little bit of manpower back at least. That's something, I suppose. Can we, uh, I wonder if we should give provinces over to estates. 
Cause like, what are some some estates? Like, well, that's our capital. Um, we can give you to the Raj puts. So we could. How does uh recruit Raj put regiments? That would give us one extra regiment. Cause what their thing is that it's they're cheaper. What is it? Don't we have some? They oh they they're cheaper to reinforce. They're not just cheaper as a uh, just normally. Okay. We'll go ahead and do it just because why not? And I mean our, I can't believe we still have our general alive. That's crazy from like the very beginning of the game. Do that. Get some. Don't really want to lose ducats, so we'll just take the hundred mil power. I don't really want to, um, would like to see if we could maybe get, do we have anything we could give them? Like, we could give, oh god, what are they called again? Are you the, the ones that we want to give it to? I think so. So we could recruit minister, that'll give us slightly more, uh, gold, which is useful. One thing I remember you can do... I think this is a DLC pay-to-win feature, but typically you can only have, like, the unrest from friendly troops only applies to the actual province, but the Dharma expansion basically added the rebel suppression. Well, this has always been a thing, but the way it, like you can put it on like an area-by-area -area basis and it'll spread out and give it the uh, unrest to multiple areas, or at least the entire area, that's new. Which means that, uh... We don't have to worry about that Assam Rebellion anymore. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of OP in all honesty. It's a little it's a little pay to winny, if, if I'm being uh, completely honest. There's a lot of features in the DLCs that are like, I mean, pay to win's kind of like I'm using that term facetiously, but because it's, you know it's a single player game, and if, even though this game does have multiplayer, the way DLC works is that it's whatever the host has, everyone has access to. So you can theoretically not spend. You know, have a single expansion, but as long as you're playing with a host that has the expansion, or all the expansions that you would have access to for that multiplayer game. So it's not like there's any, like, real competitive advantage it gives you, but... The game, for the most part, is easy. A lot of the features and stuff are easier if you, uh, have the DLC. Like, I mean, the thing we did to spawn, uh... The Renaissance Institution, you can only do that with the Common Sense DLC, which honestly should just be part of the game at this point. It's so important. So, Ratanpur, you are allied with Mawar. Mawar is the strong one. Um, yeah, we're not going to make you a co-belligerent. Also, I guess I never uh, talked about this, but if you click this, they become co-belligerents. And then, if they're... Normally, most nations will be non-co-belligerents, which means it's uh, twice as expensive in war score to uh, take their land. But... Most of the time, you're not going to take that, just because, uh... Anybody want to give me some military access? Okay, apparently not. Did we ever recruit that general? Uh, yeah, we did. We got a 2-3-3-1. Three, three, That's okay. Okay, so I have to wait for these guys, because if these guys ask for mill access, we should probably get it, like a mutual. Oh, we can get our government reform. We're going to go centralized bureaucracy, because decentralized just seems so bad. I just don't, the max promoted cultures is odd to me. Is this Kashgaria? Is that this over here? Yeah. We'll make you a state. So we never ended up decreasing the autonomy over here, did we? Yeah, he did it. Well, he did it in that province, but it's fine. And we've got to start making some money. I mean, we are so poor. Okay, well, maybe we won't be able to do the thing we wanted to do with Rotan just because of uh, we can't get any access. I thought they would ask for access, and then we would get it 
just because they asked for it, and if they have access, we basically have to have access. Typically is how it works. Ooh, Champaran. Ooh, that's this province. That's our big boy province. That's actually really good to get this in this other place. We could... I think we'll get extra tax. Because the trade good here isn't that great, in all honesty. Oh, is your province like under seat? No, not yet. Hmm. I mean, theoretically, if we could get it. No, because we can't get it from Moar. Oh, we need to, uh. We need to spin our military points. Is there anything I want to spend it on? We could increase our legitimacy. We could. Develop is a good one. I just don't really want to spend 50% more to get, even though it is a big tech, but we're not really going for a big fight right now. We'll just spend some on, uh, on that. Keep us a good amount so that if we want to tech up, we can, but I don't really want to spend that. Oh, our general finally kicked the bucket. We will apply them. Also, I need to check my correction report. We are good. I haven't wasted 11 minutes. Well, one of the problems with the, you know, it's not like other games where I can just like load a save or something and restart. Like, you know, if I, if I mess up and start recording without it, there's not really a whole, much, whole lot we can do. And it really does suck that we don't have access. Because it would have been great if we could have, you know, sieged them down, made them a vassal. And then try and use them to like maybe attack and expand into Malwa or Bengal or something. Afghanistan could hate us. Or we could get less... Mm. I think the Goods Produce is fine. Goods Produce is a great modifier. Simply because not only does it increase the production, it, because the production is closely associated with the trade. Like the trade value of stuff, it's like you can kind of double dip in your income. Oh, hello, sir. Wait, how can you move through there? We don't have access. We can't get access. That's not fair. What? Dude, I don't understand how mill access works anymore. It used to be a lot simpler, I feel like. No, people just do whatever they want. Please. Why? That's not... Why can't I not have- if they have mill access, we're supposed to have, like, reciprocal mill access. Maybe it's because they're in another war, I guess? Let me see, like... Has conditional military access to Bahamanas, Delhi, Gujarat, Moir... I guess it's because of their other war? I mean, they're getting siege down. Will you get out of here so I can go ahead and annex Doti? Because if you're not going to let me take over you, then... Okay, we should be able to... That should... Stack wipe. There we go. Since they're under siege, they can't build any more units. I'm not paying you nerds. This Merc can go away. He has cost me too much money. Even though we are super low on manpower, I just I can't afford. I mean, he costs the same amount as, like, three regular troops. Please, sir. Go away. Okay, you've been fully... Uh, what, what, what do you think you're going to do? Why are you even staying in this world? What is wrong with you? You crazy man. Mala, please just annex them so they get out of my war. Is that a thing that you can do, please? Yeah, they're almost there. How are the rebellions looking? Fairly good. So, Mong Yang. If we attack you, we'll be fighting Ava and Mong Pai. Who the fuck is Mong Pai? 
legit question. I have no clue who Mong Pai is. I see Mong Nai. Oh, there's Mong Pai. And then Ava. So how strong is Ava? How strong is Mong in the game? Why are there so many Mongs? There are not used to be that many. Okay, Mong Yang has 11 thou- What the fuck? Why are they so strong? Okay, so we're not fighting them. Um, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Kachar. Now, Kachar is just Ava. And Bundokhand would not join. So it would just be Kachar and Ava. We could probably theoretically stack like them pretty easily if we buy our tech increase. Here's what we'll do. Because then, at the turn of the month, this will go down to 25 or 30. And so it'll be slightly less expensive. I won't feel as bad buying it. As it is, so we can get a, a two fang chiss or a polygar infantry. If I was being honest, I have zero fucking clue how to decide which ones to pick. I, it's mostly random. My my decision making process there on which uh, units to pick. Okay, there you go. Get out of my work, please. Thank you. And uh, you get in my country, please. Thank you. Let's go ahead and increase the unrest there. Honestly, you know, we're just gonna never mind. Fuck a char. Let's go attack these guys. Before they, uh, Moar would join in. Let's at least get a little bit closer. Let's try and get to, uh, close to Palpa before we declare the war. Alright. What do we want? We want Kumayan. Let's go. Do you guys even have any troops? Are you already at war? No, you're already at war with Malwa in Bengal. Do, 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 do. Get sieged, you nerds. This is why you don't join stupid wars, because the Nepal guys are gonna come and kick your teeth in. We don't have, yeah, we don't have any artillery anymore. I forgot about that. Let's actually leave those guys there, because they're cheaper to reinforce and they're gonna be taking constant attrition just for sieging. No, you cannot get rid of my spy network before I make my claims. So we could lose mill power, we could lose prestige. Even though we're kind of flush with mill power, I don't really care that much about prestige. Okay, you can go to Saran Wrap, and you can just chase these guys until eventually they mess up and we get to attack them. This is one of those situations where I wish we, if we had money, you know, supports would be nice, but we don't have money, so we cannot afford them. Um, lose loyalty, gain professionalism, and the Nepal area gets angry. Oh, that kind of sucks, but. Hello, welcome to the stack wipe. I don't know if I ever actually explained how stack wipes work. Um, as you can see, that's when, uh, basically when your morale falls to zero within 12 days of combat, four phases, or, you know, two fire phase, two shock phases, then the whole army is instantly wiped. And the main way to do it is to just have, like, really high morale, because morale damage is based on your base morale and other fact, all kinds of combat factors and things like that. It's, a uh, it's interesting. Um, army, recover army morale speed, also known as useless. Simply useless. Do you still have calm as a vassal? You do. Oh, you've pissed Ming off again, Chaktai. You know something, I, I forgot, to, forgot to mention this at the start of the video. The, you know how Chaktai has been, like, marred by rebels for the past, like, two decades? It's because they keep decreasing autonomy like some idiots. Whoa, what is this? Um, the bounds of the cast are seen, blah blah blah, there's some cast stuff. Um, so we can get dip power and make some people happy, make some other people mad. Or we can get stability cost. Um, no. Dip power it is. 
It made the Brahmins a little mad, but okay, they're about to take back up to 40, so. Ain't no thing. Gosh, I need money. I need money so bad. Will you give me money? Do you have money saved up that I can kick you out? No. Why is everyone so poor? No one is saving up money so that I can kick it out of them. That does not cause any aggressive expansion. Well, it does, but not enough to like cause a coalition or anything. We've gotten pretty lucky with our aggressive expansion, in all honesty. Like, We've expanded a good bit in the 60 years since the game started, or like 59 years since the game started. I mean, we went from these two provinces to... Geographically, we're the biggest nation in, on the Indian subcontinent. Granted, we're also kind of... This isn't really India, but... God, look at all these rebellions. Why are people so mad? Everyone just needs to chill out. Also, let's build this thing, because, I mean, that'll give us 27 or 2. It'll give us a duck, an extra duck at every 4 months, basically. It would give us even more if, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot about our ideas. That's what we were supposed to be spending our mill on. I was wondering why we like were so flush, and it was because I'm not buying my dumb ideas that I've bought. Or bought is unlocked. I mean, it's not like I paid for them. Well, I only have three provinces. I can. Oh, all my claims were off. All my claims were off. Also, we have some some new territory we can claim. But yeah, I'm also supposed to be making uh, claims on you. In case you ever slip up, then we can run in and attack. We're getting some manpower back. I still just don't feel super comfortable going for the... Uh... I think we can unfocus our thing. But yeah, national focuses... Uh... I think that's actually a DLC feature. I have no clue. It's like one of the very first DLCs. I don't remember which one. Um, but it's you can take two points or like subtract two of your points per month from one of your categories to give it to the other one. It's a pretty neat little feature. It helps deal with like when you have to try and unlock something or if you just like get a ruler who has a really bad stat in one. Like, say, if you get, like, a 166 ruler, so it's, like, you're always running low on admin points, but you have tons of mill and dip. Uh, okay, cool. Whatever, I don't really care. We're up to getting a favor every two years now with the Janagar, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't done embargoes, have I? I don't think. These are things you can do in your rivals to get power projection, which we actually kind of need. What are our other rivals? Are you a rival? I can't remember. Spingal. Delhi. Delhi's the other one. I think we have an embargo on them. Oh no, we don't. I could have sworn I did that already, but maybe I didn't. I mean, obviously I didn't. So it's just Ava. Um, Ava does not have Tech 9. Yeah, it's Tech 10 is one of the most least important ones. You get improved flanking range, whoop de doo and it's better cavalry that we don't use, and better artillery that we don't have because we lost them all. Whoa, would you leave me alone? Sure, you can handle that yourselves, you don't need me. No, don't stay on the border, you assholes. Oh, it's because we raised our maintenance. They're freaking out now. Well, you know what? You should freak out because let's go. We can increase Delhi's opinion and Assam's opinion. Diplomatic insults are like... They actually can potentially be a very good event because... Well, they're supposed to, I thought, increase the opinion of everyone that borders you, but I guess not. It's, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the dip diplomatic insult CB is really bad, so... And we're already at war with the guys that insulted us, so... Bam! 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 Uh, Q. 
keep those guys there, go to Ava. So we can... The question is kind of like... Do I depend... Do I, do I think Ava's gonna go from up this way or up this way? So I'm going to kind of try and keep our troops on a swivel, so to speak, then? Because how many troops are left? So they have 10,000. I'm going to kind of keep these guys in a central location, then. So that they can respond to... Because Okay, so they are going this way. Alright, you stay there. You stay there. We will wait for them to lock them. God, he's got a five shock? That's crazy. These are both jungle. Uh, Cat Mandu gets local goods reduced. Don't care. We could lose ducats and admin power for. That's a good event normally, but we are so poor that we can't afford it. Okay, a 9 to a 3 is really bad. Okay. Then you guys go up there. Okay, what are these what do these rebels want? Why are you guys so mad? Just chill out. Maybe Ming will uh do something. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The missionary strength or missionary strength and stability cost. Definitely the unrest one. What is this other one? At peace, we could get tolerance of heretics. Hindu doesn't really have... I mean, there's Sikhs, but... Those are such a minor religion that it's not even really worth... Discussing. Let's make our uh, artillery back. So where do I think these guys have gone? Also, you guys are taking care of more, right? Don't let them run rampant in my territory, please. Because it looks like they retreated this way, but I don't see them. And I don't really want them to, like... There they are. This is, this is Highlands. We will make it there before them. They're pretty big. As long as we get some good rolls, we might even stack them. Well, I think we barely missed the stack light. We did. Aethaya has entered into alliance with Aya. Where are they going? They're going to... Wait, no, they're going to... Taven. We're going to Taven. Oh, we just can't take a direct path there. Whoa, where the hell are they retreating? How the... What the hell are they doing? You can't retreat to these provinces. What? Oh, that's one of their provinces. I did not realize that. It's actually potentially okay, because I mean we can pretty much stack wipe them now. And that might make them leave me alone. Okay, it helps if you don't roll a zero. What is oh my god, Ava, please! Quit being so annoying. Okay, they're almost ready to get out. War going well. Um, Seer Hun doesn't understand how to take the war goal, though, but... Oh, I think it's because it's already been sieged, yeah, because no one controls it. Or no one in that war controls it. So occupying a few of their provinces should get them mad enough to leave me alone. Don't really want those guys rising up just yet. Please get out of my war. Um, sir, would you please get out of my war? I don't understand why you won't get out of my war. It would be very nice if you would get out of my war. No, do not mess with my Bengal thingy. 810, we 
go with this one and this one, and we do not have enough supply power for that one. Delhi, you can also get claimed. What is the timer? Because I lose track of the time. A very easily want to play this game. We're at 30 minutes. We are almost out of money. Almost out of gold. Well, money and gold are the same thing. But... Please, I, I really hate when they're just like, We're going to stay in this war, even though it's literally impossible for us to win, because we're Ava, and we're fucking hella annoying. Do you think I won't sit here and wait you out? You are gravely mistaken. Ava, please just stop being such giant D-bags. Where are you even getting all this money for troops from, anyway? Like, why is everyone in this game rich but me? It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Because they keep building all these troops, and they're like, Our army's still strong! We can show you! It's like, no, your army is garbage. You're losing this war. Please fuck off. We make way more money from tax than trade, so... Which is odd, because usually you make, like, no money from tax in this game, but... We're just in such an awful position with our trade mode. Just get out of my war! It's so frustrating. That I'm just losing so much money because Ava won't quit being an idiot. How do we even have 29? Like... You don't have military strength. Why are you not getting a debilitator for the fact that your army has been stacked like, like three times over? You know? Please quit doing that. Maybe I should have kept on mill points, but I just I can't deal with all these rebellions that we're getting. That five shock general is literally the greatest fucking person alive. Just go away. Just get, just get out. Just just stop. No. Cease and desist, you madman. And it's like if I don't keep wiping their troops, they're going to keep getting bonuses to military strength because they're like we're our army is still strong. I've already done the stupid nerd voice, but it's so frustrating that the AI is so dumb. And why can we not stack wipe anyone in this game? We keep rolling like zeros and ones. It's unbelievable. We outnumber them like six to one and we can't stack wipe them. With a miltech advantage. It's unbelievable. And those fuckers still rose up. Well, I mean, we had a good run, but <laughs> our trash air is in power again. This is unbelievable. Just get out of the war, you fuckers. Thank God. Jesus. I mean, you lost 24,000 troops with your four provinces, and oh, 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 I'm so mad. I guess we should royal marry some people. You know, keep our legitimacy low. Oh, this is, uh...
Oh, discipline, that's nice. That might help us not get destroyed by these rebels. How many, let's see, how many losses do you expect? Okay, we actually got some decent rolls. I just, if I could just make some money, even just a tiny amount of money, I would be so happy. I'd be so blessed to actually make some money. We're just so fucking poor. So poor. Unbelievably poor. And it's just because Bengal stayed strong. Normally Bengal collapses pretty easily, but... don't really like bordering Sagri Gyogir since they're a vassal of Ming. That's... Oh, Tibet formed. How the hell did Tibet form? And they're a tributary of Ming. Okay, well, so much for us, uh, expanding that way. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've just... I've, I'm getting to the point where, like, I have to just go for it, you know? I don't know. I think what we'll do is we're going to get our troops back over here. And then... Where the hell did these guys come from? Did they just literally just spawn in my province? Why is this war not over? I do not understand the AI in this game. It actually infuriates me. What we're going to do is... Probably gonna chill, I'm gonna think about it, and then maybe we're just gonna attack Bengal and say, fuck it, we, we need to, we need, we absolutely have to start making some money, and the only way we can do that is by getting some actual trade power. I mean, we've been making one ducat from trades since the very beginning of the game. It's getting kind of ridiculous at this point. So yeah, that's what we'll do next time, guys. I'm XTZ87, stay tuned for the next part, and bye, guys.